hello friends uh, in this video we will be we will be looking at uh, how to purge old data on uh, vCenter database and uh, this is also very important to purge old data base uh, old data no database uh, vCenter when you when you migrate to uh, vcsa uh, vm vcsa so if you are migrating uh, from vcenter windows base to vcsa uh, it is mandatory to check, to check uh, the database size and uh, we need to shrink the database so that the migration is successful uh, yeah, like if you see couple of videos uh, people showing only how to migrate uh, windows uh, base vcenter to vcsa but uh, no one shows uh, this step but when you go to production environment definitely it will fail as the production database will run huge data uh, and it, it will be a from couple of years so we need to we need to clean up the task logs and event logs related to vcenter uh, and we need to shrink the database then only the uh, vcsa migration goes fine uh, let's do it now so before we uh, we shrink uh, we we purge old data on the database we need to take the full backup of database first then we need to go to vcenter and we need to stop the services let's do it now so we'll stop the service first so we need to stop the web service then we need to stop the vcenter service yeah both are stopped now so now we'll go to our sql server Uh, like we need to open the SQL management studio using uh, administrator privileges okay so this is my database but uh, when you use the default database uh, it will be named as a uh, vim underscore vcdb but uh, i have named it as vcenter database so what we'll do is we'll go to tables and we need to look for <coughs> dbo vpx parameter Okay, just right click it and edit with like edit top 200 rows so here we need to search for event max age event dot max age so here okay Uh, okay, so if it is uh, older version, uh, it is set to default 180 days, but uh, it is set to uh, like we need to set it to 30. Yeah, already I set it to 30, 30 days. So event max age is 30, and we should set a set event max age enabled to true. And uh, next is task max age. So okay, so this we need to set it to 30 and we need to say uh, like uh, tax mass max age enable to true once the modification is done save the save it it's done now so now we will go to 
the next step is to we'll go to programmabilities stored procedures and we need to run db cleanup task event task rook procedures just right click and just click execute stored procedure so oh, it's executing now click ok yes it's done now once this is done click ok now it's time to purge the db okay we need to right click vcenter all task shrink files select logs we will see that the current allocated space is this one and uh, available is this one just click ok ok so you able to see now got shrink ok it's time to close the scale studio and we'll go back to vCenter and we'll start the services let's start web service okay both services are up now so <coughs> Now we'll log into vCenter using our vCenter administrator login. Okay. <clears throat> now uh, click on vCenter and go to general the settings click edit ok here the statistics level should be set to level 1 if it is set to any other levels as it is already set to level 1 nothing to do just click ok That's all we need to do uh, for, for purging the old database on SQL Server, and uh, this is the this is the very important step we need to follow when you migrate a Windows-based vCenter to vCSA. Thanks for watching.